Triple digits, Mike. And this is on Wednesday. Well, not this Wednesday, next Wednesday. This Wednesday, I get them out of your class. Mommy. Surprised the teacher didn't ask me about my yellow slip. Because she was like asking, like, this paper, this paper, this person's missing this paper. She didn't say anything about me missing my yellow slip. But why were so many people not? Was it because there it wasn't? I had to fill it out to get you enrolled. Uh -huh. They were already enrolled. Oh, okay. they automatically transferred. You did not appear into this class. Didn't know that's how it worked. Um, uh, I kind of the hard way. It's how it works. Are you wanting to cake pop for yourself? I want chocolate. Like normal. Guava or blueberry? Green. Just a green one. See that it? They don't have the peach flavor. <laughs> um, can I just get the green tea with lemonade then? Yeah, of course. Did you want the sweetener in it? Hmm? Did you want the sweetener in it? Yes, please. Sorry, she's not very helpful. <laughs> Can I also get a tall um, caramel mocha frappe with extra caramel drizzle? And a vinte mocha frappe? Um, do you still have the cake pops that have the strawberry on it? Do you have chocolate one cookie dough? That should do it. Thank you. Dad, where are you going? Was that done? No. <laughs> it's believable. I would believe it too. Teresa, will you pump the gas when we get to the gas station so I can run in and go pee? Because I didn't go at Walmart. Because you're silly. So I was trying to get in and out, but my bladder is going to explode before we get home. I don't. I can go here, but by the time I got in and out, it probably be done. No, they were all out of their flavors for the tea. No peach, no mango, no blueberry. Okay, thank you. 
Don't let it be like that. I'm hoping. Tracer, I believe we're all hoping at this point. Well, I have to figure out. Should what I'm I check your do. calendar? Well, I mean, I don't think it's in there. I'm just in there. Well, no, your sister texted Allison. She got it, found her phone. Fine, I didn't realize the charge, but okay. Her phone? Her phone. Yeah, I knew where it was. It wouldn't charge when I tried charging it. Anyway, um, she texted me. I guess she tried calling a few times, and of course I was teaching, and I had my phone in the pod and didn't hear her ping. Did you say um, She texted, she's like, Mom, I had to take the Saturn. I'm sorry. Um, Jennifer did not come in enough time. She wasn't going to take me. I had seven minutes to get to school, and it's a 20 minute walk. So I didn't want to be late. And I didn't know this until after she'd taken it, so. <sighs> no, I didn't text or anything back to her. You just kind of thought about I, it? Like, okay, do I. Yell at her for taking it. She said it's a walk. It would have been late. Or do I not yell at her because Jennifer decided she wasn't going to take her and didn't tell her enough time? Do I yell at them both? So I'm still like, okay, I'd say just next time. I'll just say, okay, hey, wait, Jennifer, wait, wait. next time tell Allison in advance, and then I'll say, hey, Allison. Well, there's no reason Jennifer can't take her because it's at 8.30 in the morning. Jennifer should be awake by then. No, we're not going to say, um, did you tell Jennifer that you take her? Because she's been deliberately telling you that. Like, I feel like her punishment should be taking us to school every day. Well, I, yeah. And Allison just like. Jennifer's response is, well, I had a walk when I was grounded. True, but she didn't have an older sibling to take her. Yeah, Jennifer, you didn't really have the, the decision, did you? You also did go to that school, though, Mom. Besides, you're the one who decided to go to the school. And with the fact of her having the late start, um, the Does back gate's no closed, time? so she can't cut to the back and get there in five minutes. She has to walk all the way around. That's why it I takes her so long to walk. I don't like her walking. I think anybody else would have had I know. That's why I'm like. Mom, I do it, but at least she's cool. Right, and that's where I'm not so, as mad as I would have been. So you see, like, like, I feel like. Don't do it again. But. Don't yell at me. So if they want to have your dad talk to Jennifer, because obviously she doesn't listen to me. And she yells at me. Because Jennifer doesn't know not to. Because apparently she's. I, your house I get if it was 6 o'clock in the morning, okay? I get that. But the fact is, I told Jennifer not to go to bed after midnight. She doesn't need to. She gets off 9, 10 o'clock. Well, she goes to bed 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. And then she sleeps until a half hour before she goes to work. No. That's a Jennifer thing I to do. I told her no. So, if she goes to bed at midnight and Allison wakes her up at 8.30, that gets Allison 10 minutes to get to school. She has to be there by 8.40, I believe she said. So, there's no reason that Jennifer can't wake up at 8.30 to take her. And then if she's still tired, come back home and lay down on the couch. But she shouldn't have to lay down on the couch. She should get up and clean. Part of life. Which one? They're wearing lies. That's where in lies. If she was living in her own place, she would have to do chores anyway. I took some naps oh. and brought it because I got a little picky. Okay, thank you. Of course, mine's the one that was sitting here. We're waiting a whole bunch. Thank you. I was going to try to get the caramel, but. Look. Can you put that to the side and...